Good morning, everybody, and uh, welcome to the daily prayer uh, on this uh, beautiful, glorious morning of uh, sunshine, which gr greets our weekend. So, uh, so I'm sure, as well as enjoying the sunshine, there'll be many farmers and many other gardeners, etc., wishing for perhaps a little bit of rain just to uh, soften the ground up slightly. But uh, let's just enjoy the sunshine while we can. Uh, before we start properly. The person we'll be discussing today is somebody called Josephine Butler, who was a social reformer. And uh, I have a slight connection to her that has both been Northumbrians. And uh, also, where she did a lot of her work was at a hospital just outside Hexham, at a place called Dilston, where in the year of 1956 in September, I was actually born there. So there is some sort of connection between the two of us. And uh, good morning, Mary. Good morning, Susan. Good morning, Mike. And good morning, Elizabeth. Hope it all finds you well. So just a little bit about Josephine Butler. Josephine Butler, which was knee Gray, was born in 1828 and was connected to the Gray family of Newcastle, who did a lot of development there as well, as well as being uh, Lord Gray being an MP within the Parliament. She was baptised in this day in Northumberland. She married an Anglican priest in 1852. <clears throat> she became very incensed by the way contemporary society treated prostitutes, most of whom were forced into such activity through desperate poverty. poverty. From 1869, she campaigned for the repeal of the legislation which put all opprobrium onto the women concerned, and the issue being international, after she travelled in Europe addressing meetings in 1874-75. Her campaign succeeded with the repeal of the Contagious Diseases Act in 1883. She was a devout Anglican and a woman of prayer, based in her spirituality on that of St Catherine of Siena, whose biography she wrote. She died on the 30th December 1906. And the collect for Josephine, was God of compassion and love, by whose grace your servant Josephine Butler followed in the way of your son, in caring for those in need, helping us like her to work with strength for the restoration of all, to the dignity and freedom of those created in your image, through Jesus Christ our Saviour, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. We'll just take a moment to light our candles. And in a, pe in a period of silence, we'll prepare for our prayers. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Send your Holy Spirit upon us, and clothe us with the power from on high. Hallelujah. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. And as we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set your hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Now we'll continue saying Psalm 46, which you have during the pre previously this week. God is our ref refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth be moved, and though the mountains tremble in the heart of the sea. Though the waters rage and swell, and though the mountains quake at the towering seas, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place of the dwelling of the Most High. God is in the midst of her, therefore shall not be removed. God shall help her at the break of day. 
The nations are in uproar and the kingdoms are shaken, but God utters his voice and the earth shall melt away. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come and behold the works of the Lord. What destruction he has wrought upon the earth. He makes wars to cease in all the world. He shatters the bow and snaps the spear and burns the chariots in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. God of Jacob, when the earth shakes and the nations are in uproar, speak and let the storm be still through Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The um, scripture reading this morning is taken from the book of John, verse 7, starting to verse 37. On the last and greatest day of the feast, Jesus stood and said in a loud voice, If anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, streams of living water will flow from within him. By this he meant the spirit whom those who believed in him were later to receive. Up to that time, the spirit had not been given since Jesus had not yet been glorified. This is the word of the Lord. Now for our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord, who is our refuge and stronghold. O eternal God, helper of the helpless, comfort of the comfortless, hope of the afflicted, bread of the hungry, drink of the thirsty, and saviour of all who wait upon you. We bless and glorify your name. We adore your goodness and delight in your love. Take from us every tendency towards sin or vanity. Let our desires soar upwards to your love, that we may hunger and thirst for the bread of life and the wine of heaven, and know no love but yours. Amen. Into your hands, Heavenly Father, we place this new day. You know how wayward we are. You know how quickly our thoughts stray from you and from Jesus, the way, the truth and the life. We ask you to give us your Holy Spirit in good measure this day. May he be our guide. May he govern every detail of our lives, however small and insignificant. May he fill us with love and praise so that every moment of this day may belong to you. Without you, O holy and blessed Trinity, our lives lack purpose. But filled with the gift of the Holy Spirit, they take on the dimensions of your glory. Stay this, great God, and enable us to live for the praise of your glory. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. And now we pray for the, the health and well-being of our nation. For all who are fearful and anxious, that they may be at peace and free from worry. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the isolated and housebound, that we may be alert to their needs and care for them in their vulnerability. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For our homes and families, our schools and young people, especially this week, 
when they are starting to go back into a routine of education. And all in any kind of need or distress, Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For a blessing our on our local community, that our neighbourhoods may be places of trust and friendship, where all are known and cared for. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Hear us. And we commend ourselves and all who for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And as it's uh, this this week, we're uh, thinking of the five people we're praying for uh, during the uh, Thy Kingdom Come. So for this Saturday, we pray for the Holy Spirit to engrave on your heart the desires of heaven for your five. And now we say, remember the people in Allerton and in Christchurch. We think of Rupert and Sally McLean. Dennis and Jean Malpass, Sarah, Jeremy, Oscar, Theo, Archie, Josky Martin, Irene and Scott McIntosh, Andrew and Jane Midgley, Diane and Simon Midgley, Judith and Kevin, Ogden, Matthew, Lindy, Tabitha, Paul. Now we think of the congregation of uh, Christchurch Steel. We think of Mary Packer, Esme David and James Pultney, James Rossiter, Lou Rossiter and Bev, Molly Rossiter, Angie and Peter Rupert Stott, Peter Stott and family, Noreen and Philip Stott, Mr Tucker, Neil Turner and Helen Stebbins, Malcolm Watkins, Lizzie Whittle and Janet Wright. And please Lord look after all these people in your safe company. Before thy kingdom come, we'll just read the collect. Almighty God, you ascended Son in, has sent us into the world to preach the good news of your kingdom. Inspire us with your spirits. Fill our hearts with the fire of your love. That all who hear your word may be drawn to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now we'll say the prayers together, the regular ones. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that you've brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger. Order us in all our doings and guide us to do always what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Keep us good, Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful and lift up all who are brought low, that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Being made by the power of the Spirit, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. And as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May the Spirit kindle in us the fire of God's love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. So final welcomes for uh, Elizabeth Whittle, Susan Smith, John Ford and Jackie Davy. And I hope uh, this all finds you well and Tim, Mormon and Sue. And uh, it'll be back to normal next week. So uh, this is the end of my three day experience on uh, Facebook Live. And I'd just like to wish you all a, a very happy weekend. And I will no doubt see you on Zoom tomorrow for the coffee and chat after the uh, Pentecost service. So in the meantime, goodbye, God bless, take care.